This is Diego for Frog TV. Today's question, how is this steaming plate of food related to mutant frogs? We turn to our resident expert, a mutant frog himself, Tribal. Hello, Mr. Tribal. Hello, Diego. The connect... What is that? Corn hash. It's my own special recipe. <sighs> well, the connection between this and mutant frogs is a chemical called atrazine. Atrazine? Yes, atrazine. It's an herbicide. It kills weeds in agriculture. Are you a weed? Atrazine is an endocrine disruptor. What did you say? Epidermis fibula? No, endocrine disruptor. Flying trash compactor? No, endocrine disruptor. Sad starfish elevator? No, endocrine disruptor. Here is a frog. His body is busily making the hormones that make him male. Now let's add atrazine and see what happens. Oh no! His body is making estrogen rather than testosterone. What happened to the handsome mustache? I think he looks good like this too. Male frogs exposed to atrazine have become so feminized that many have grown ovaries as well as testes. That's not normal for frogs. Some have been found with eggs growing inside their testes. There they are. Look at them trying to mate. But nobody can tell male from female. Because atrazine is an endocrine disruptor. That's correct, Diego. And that's the answer to today's question. Atrazine kills weeds, creates mutant hermaphroditic frogs, and it's sprayed on our food. This is Diego and Tribal for Frog TV.